Today I'm going to show you how to bulk change your prices on Amazon Merch on Autopilot. So there's two browser extensions you're going to need for this. The first one would be Productor for Merch by Amazon. I will leave a link to this in the description, totally free. And the second one is Productor for Merch by Amazon Autopilot, which is also free and linked below. Then the next thing you would have to do is head to the Products tab right here, which is added by the Productor Chrome extension. And this will essentially bring up all of your different ASINs in your account. And here you will want to select all of the products that you want to change the prices for. So I filtered this by my live products, by standard t-shirts in the US, and I've selected a few of these as an example. And if you also want the prices to be changed in the UK or Germany, you would have to also select those individually. In this case, it will only change for these five American standard t-shirts that I've selected. Then what you need to do is click on this autopilot browser extension by Productor, which should come up here. If it doesn't, you can see all of your extensions with this little button. Once you've got this, click on it, then enable this browser extension right here. Scroll down a bit to where it says um, set the price. This has to be turned on and you can change this to whatever price you want your products to be set to. It's quite handy to drop the price ahead of uh, certain events or if you've got a lot of highly priced items that you want to push for a little while. And um, I would also recommend disabling auto translate because if you have auto translate enabled, your listing data will be reviewed again if you change the price. If you have this turned off, you shouldn't have to worry about rejections. The only other thing you need to choose is whether you want to automatically publish right here with this step or just save it as a draft instead and then do the publishing yourself. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if it auto publishes as well. Once these settings are configured, all that's left is clicking on this little bulk edit button over here. Then it's going to warn you about five tabs opening, click okay on this. And then one after another, if I hold up my hands, you're going to see, uh, well, you won't see very much because it actually doesn't even drop down to the pricing. But as you can see right there, it's just uh, published that, completed that task. It's moved on to the next uh, design that's opened up. And once again, there we go, it's hit publish. So you don't have to do anything this is going to be really hands-off and a very easy way to change prices in bulk. One quick tip, once this is actually done running, what you'll want to do is head back to your browser extension and deactivate this because otherwise it is going to change the prices whenever you open an Amazon merch listing. So make sure to always disable this once you're done with the bulk price change. If you want to learn more about how Productor can save you massive amounts of time, then make sure to check out this video next for a full walkthrough.